On our road to recovery, a struggling small business in San Francisco is trying to survive by welcoming others into its space. And as KPI X5's John Ramos reports, the entire neighborhood may be richer because of it. We often talk about the pandemic's effects on restaurants and retail stores, but if there is one business that has been most profoundly affected, it may be the dry cleaning shop. When offices closed down, business at Aki's Cleaners dried up. And since then, remote workers are only being seen from the waist up. So you're not getting a lot of dress pants in here anymore? No, definitely not. <laughs> But it was no laughing matter. Monique Zong's elderly parents asked if they should close the shop. So I told my parents that once you close, you're going to lose a lot of trust. People will think that you're not interested in opening or you have something that you are fear of. We definitely don't want to project that. So Monique quit her job as a fashion designer to help save the laundry by making it more than just a laundry. She moved her mom's cleaning and alterations business to the back, and in front, she displayed silk fabrics, hand-painted by her partner, Joshua Bernstein. Local artists were invited to display their works, giving Sarah So her first brick-and-mortar location to sell her macrame art and ornamental plants. If you had asked me a year ago, even six months ago, if this would be a possibility, I would have said, what are you talking about? Like, that's not even a, you know, option in my mind. Then, to make the place even more eclectic, Joshua moved his technology consulting business into the laundry as well. Traditionally, a dry cleaners has been a place that people come and they just want to get in, get out. And uh, they didn't necessarily think of it as a place that's a social gathering. But during the COVID, there weren't that many places that you could go out. So we, we especially have started to make it an experience. The effort has not gone unnoticed by the people in the neighborhood. It makes people feel like they belong. It's not just places where you transact. When this pandemic is over and you look back on it, will you think that you benefited from it in a way? 100% because even for myself, I think able to, you know, to face the fear. And by doing that, she's not just fighting to save a neighborhood laundry, but the neighborhood itself. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Amazing. Well, Monique says the laundry has taken no PPP funding from the government. She says she wants that money to go toward saving someone else's business.